Hi, this is Debbie Simpson with the Be Free Respect podcast. This is from the blog post, Listening to My GPS, as read from BeFreeRespect.com. The original written post was shared on March 21st, 2023. Following my GPS. I like to look back on various situations and see why things turned out differently than intended. That whole things happen for a reason, as seen in retrospect. Or maybe it's the reason we make from the way things happen. Regardless, I feel I work hard to create a path and then, time and again, have felt regret, frustration, and disappointment when it doesn't lead me to my intended destination. My effort now is to pay closer attention to my GPS during the journey, to quiet my mind while planning out my route. This blog originated several years ago as gluten-free respect. It was developed through my passion to increase increase celiac awareness after discovering the impact undiagnosed celiac had been having on me for decades. It just felt right, and it was right at the time. Celiac advocacy and gluten-free support was a huge part of who I was for a solid 20 years. And then another personal struggle led me towards a different path, another path that just felt right. Advocacy for reduced fragrance chemicals. Fragrance sensitivity in my GPS. If I can make one of my restrictions disappear, it would be my fragrance sensitivity, no question. And if you follow me through my current journey, you'll know that I'm working on making that happen. My transition from celiac awareness to fragrance-free advocacy wasn't something I planned, not at all. I credit my GPS for this redirection, that rerouting it would quietly, and sometimes not so quietly, repeat to me became something I could no longer ignore. And on August 9th, 2021, Fragrance Free Respect was born. It just felt like something I was supposed to do. Learning that my issue is far from rare and learning that so many of the everyday products we use contain chemicals that are toxic for everyone gave me the intense need to be vocal. It is so much easier for me to speak up for others than for myself. And I am so blessed to have felt the need to create this new page in order to use my voice. No one understands an issue until they have to live it. It can be difficult to see how life impacting a fragrance sensitivity can be. Even with my personal experience, I had no idea the number of people affected worldwide. I had no idea until I became an active member of various social networking groups and actually started digging into the research a bit. Awareness memes. My GPS's redirection became too clear and I found myself diving right into advocacy for change. I'm not a researcher, chemical expert, or in the medical field. My experience is personal and it is life. I thought my sensitivity was a rarity, but I'm not rare at all, far from it. Trying to juggle life with an increasing chemical fragrance sensitivity, which became more of a disability quite honestly, had become much more difficult than my gluten-free diet ever was. It resulted in job loss and a front seat view to both kind and unkind behavior. It's impossible to understand something completely without experiencing it, but my hope is to increase much needed understanding. For now, I'll just go with the flow of words and the direction that feels comfortable. A big direction I was grateful for was that Facebook page I mentioned, Fragrance Free Respect. The way it flowed, the the ideas that came and the energy I was able to put into it just gave me cause to look up and give thanks many, many times. I don't take credit for what transpired. I only take credit for listening to my GPS. I ultimately created and completed a goal to post one new awareness meme a day for a year. Those memes continue to get occasional updates and continue to get circulated through the page daily. A new direction. Months into this new advocacy effort, I felt guided to another life-changing opportunity, the possibility for personal healing from my reactions to fragrance chemicals. My vision with this blog is to put far more focus on this healing journey than what brought the need for it. I'd rather focus on the light than the darkness. As I've learned, however, we don't usually put effort into seeking that light switch unless we do find ourselves in the dark. Sharing the dark will need to be a natural part of the writing process. My ultimate goal is to share the journey that is helping me fill my life with increased light. Brain rewiring is a very big part of this effort more to come about limbic system impairment. After experiencing and sharing my personal celiac and gluten-free journey and all the amazing transformations I was so blessed with, I am excited to now share my brain rewiring journey as well. More to come in upcoming posts.
please join my new page, Be Free Respect. Brain Healing versus Advocacy for Change. Regardless of any healing that takes place in my body and brain through this new life journey, my advocacy for a need to change the products we use will not end. These efforts are two distinctly different things. By simply avoiding products that contain the word fragrance, we are avoiding hundreds of unnecessary chemicals. By avoiding those products, we are benefiting others, our pets, and our planet. I'll leave with this note. When personal choice crosses over one person's space and into someone else's, such as fragrance, it is no longer a personal choice. Think about smoking and the effort that went into banning it in public places in order to protect others' rights. I'll just leave it there. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed the reading of this blog post as read from BeFreeRespect.com. Check out the website for other blog posts. And start a joy and gratitude journal. Practice focus on the brighter moments of the day.